Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Charles Barkley. Shut up and jam, Gaiden. You're here with Randall Viva, the wines known as Tracks Craven, when it's time to pick up the blue key. Give me the key. Excellent. We can finally operate the lift. Let's head back immediately and take the elevator to the highest floor. What's that sound? Huh? I can hear someone talking. Oops! You have problems. Dr. Davis, this is a grave mistake. We cannot possibly hope to add more manufactured slamicite without the realistic expectation of more accidents like the one last week. We just can't. You are wrong, Cosby. The slamicite will act as a safeguard, protecting the baller from accidents like the Chaos Dunk incident. It's foolproof, even more so than Jamicite. There is no way anything can go wrong at this point. The science backs me. You've gone mad. You've gone mad, Davis, you know that? Your lust for b-ball greatness or whatever it is you desperately groping for has blinded you to the danger that this prototype presents. This is more than just a b-ball, damn it! I believe in Davis. I'm not coming back. Would millions of people die? It'll be your fault, not mine. Goodbye forever. Dr. Cosby, wait, you forgot your basketball. Leonard, don't touch that! No! Oh my god! Oh god, and that's what turned him into the ghost dad. What has the ball done to me? What has the ball turned me into? Leonard, he's a ghost. What do you mean, Hoops? He's a ghost? He looks perfectly real to me. I don't know, Dad. I just... I know it. I just know he's a ghost. Something happened here. Something really bad happened to him right here. I don't know what it was. I don't know how, but I just know it. Makes sense. If he died on the day they tested the prototype, he might be reliving the last day of his life over and over again without even realizing it. I've read about this before. His soul is carried on to the ghost dimension, but his ghost essence is still trapped here in the Spalding building. But this is incredibly advanced ghostology, Hoops. How do you know this? I... I don't know, Mr. Cyberdwarf. I see. But should we come across a trial that requires a keen understanding of ghosts, I shall ask you for your insight if, that, if that's okay, Hoops. Yeah, I guess so. There's more to the story than we've yet to find out. Let's see what the blue card leads us to. Alright. The terrible happenings of the Spalding building. Oh man, all the rooms are sized perfectly, so like one well-placed sprint will basically get you through it, but not not so much that it will get you past all the enemies, creating, allowing you to quickly go between rooms, but preventing you from bypassing combat entirely. Wait, did it say red key? Why the hell did they make the elevator activation system do that shit? I can't even think of one reason why the whole fucking building should shake when you put the key in. It's probably just security measures. It doesn't matter. The elevator's working. Let's go. Hope they didn't want to have to do. I hope they didn't have to do this key shit every time they wanted to use the elevator. Weird how that always works out like that. You know what I mean? Oh fuck! Shut up, pump. God damn it! I didn't cycle my save. Fuck! Oh god. Oh, I guess this robot is just completely oblivious. It just does not care. Shoot him! Shoot him in the dick! I'm, I'm doing this. I'm doing the same damage to the mutant ballers. Like it seems like the final gun didn't actually make me much better at fighting. Eh, whatever. It made my numbers go up big, so I want it. Oh Jesus! Okay, that's a hell of a shot. Fuck. Still can't get the pass right. And it all worked out. Hey guys, looks like you finally made it to the top floor. Master's waiting for you in the room over there. Leonard, there's something you need to know. What? What are you talking about? Oh, am I getting fired or something? Sort of. It's gonna be a really hard pill to swallow, so just sit tight with me, okay? What the hell's going on? What are you talking about? Leonard, you're a ghost. You died 12 years ago in an accident that occurred when you were testing the prototype B-ball. We don't know what happened or how, but somehow you were killed. You've been living the last day of your life for the past 12 years, Leonard. What? Is this a fucking joke or something? Are you fucking kidding me? No, Leonard, I'm sorry. It is the truth. You are a ghost. The Spalding building has been empty since the purge, which happened shortly after you were killed. You've been wandering these halls in limbo ever since, not realizing any of this. I also like how they keep things logically internally consistent. 
by making it that like the explosion caused at the factory messes with ghostly energies as such Cosby was turned into the ghost dad and Leonard is just a ghost wandering the halls for this fucking game the more you look at it just like the more everything clicks together in a pile of bullshit nonsense logic but it is logic nevertheless I don't believe you I don't believe any of this when was the last time you were home Leonard last night what the hell do you think no Leonard think hard when was the last time you really went home home Leonard home oh, I went outside a long time ago and it was so different from how it used to be I couldn't find my way home so I came back here you've been living here Leonard cleaning these hallways without realizing what you are but 12 years ago you died Leonard you have to accept it or you will be a ghost in ghost jeopardy for eternity I know I'm gonna go home what I want to thank you for making me realize this I'm gonna go home now it's finally gone to the ghost dimension what's this a green key I believe it was his parting gift. I believe ghosts are like dogs and they just sort of do things arbitrarily. <laughs> oh my god. That's so good. Tell me, Charles Barkley, what is a bee ball? What? Who are you? Humor me. Tell me what a bee ball is. It's an orange ball with black lines on it bounce as well but it's easy to hold and throw perfect for slams and shots that was good Charles but tell me more about the lines on a beat ball tell me about the black lines Ch Charles what about the lines they're black they divide the ball into little segments and they improve grip ah the segments did you know those lines are the reason I got in this business what do you mean what are you talking about it's true you see those lines they mean different things to you than they do for me you mentioned that the lines divide the ball into segments I believe you're wrong Charles I believe that the lines are in fact a symbol of unity that they are the only things holding the ball together have you ever considered that even though the lines all go in different directions they all have the exact same point of origin and end have you ever considered that without those lines you'd be staring at a bunch of stripes strips of leather and rubber and not a basketball they bring the ball together that's why I made basketballs, Charles. To bring people together. To show them that the lines on a b ball do not divide it, but hold it together. And I suppose I failed. I Are we getting deeply philosophical about the construction of basketballs? Scott H. Creelman. Yes, that was my name before the purge, back when I was CEO of a company called Spalding. Back when we had a dream. <laughs> The only dreams I have now are nightmares. We came for the prototype, Creelman. We needed to stop Blood Moses. I know. I've been waiting for you. Can I have it? <laughs> I've been waiting for you, for you to ask me that, Charles Barkley. I've been waiting 12 years for this. Come, Charles Barkley. Face my danger. No, Creelman, I won't fight you. You're not my enemy. You don't get it, do you, Charles Barkley? All of this, it's fate. The Purge, the prototype, our meeting, all of it is fate. And you have no choice as to whether we will battle or not. It was already predestined. So be it, Creelman. We'll see what fate has in store. What? Oh shit, Scott Creelman. What the fuck? Status shot? Inflict diabetes on an enemy. I'm gonna use the, I can't use the trick on assault. Never can. Jeez, Scott's pretty evasive. Ow. Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. Goodbye, Balthios. It was nice fucking knowing you. Get some steroids in that man. Used by active ballers on the go. I gotta use the chicken do. I gotta get him at full health so he doesn't instantly die again. Hit him with that diabetes. Nice. He's all purple. That means he's got the diabetes. Oh, there we go. Lower that power. Make it so he can't fight us. Low blow. Oh, God. Kick Charles in the dick. Right in the dick. Uh, guns tech. 
Bullet dance? No. Damn it. That was close. You gotta admit, that was really close. I don't have enough BP to do muscle zauber. What is zauber? Shower status effects. Let's go for it. Damn it. God damn it, Balthios. You fuck. Illusion shot. Oh god. Dwarf caress. That was pretty wicked. Like that was just that was just cool. It's cool to look at. You gotta buff yourself up with some more of that ghost muscle, dude. Feel the power. Oh shit! What the fuck? He just got all his health back. Unload on him. Or not. Jesus, that seemed pretty ineffective. Ow. Gotta say, I really love this guy's animations. By love, I mean hate. Because holy fuck. Damn. That was not super effective. Push. Oh, oh, it also removed all of the status effects that the muscles that were put on him. Shit. Glory of the Bee Ball is the name of that attack. It also heals a lot of fucking health. Like a distressing amount of health. Fuck. Like, I can't keep up with the amount of health he's healing. Kamikaze Jam? Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Well, fuck. Raises a random stat. No, I don't need that. Oh, well. Fuck. I tried to do a finisher. Didn't have enough meter. There we go. I just gotta load, unload double teams on him. Nice! Hit him with your best shot. Yes, the double team. Oh god, this is really frustrating. Fuck. Oh Jesus! Okay, that lowers his guard. I will need to remember to do that from now on. Ow. The b-ball crash, if you know what I mean. Give him that dead diabetes. Maybe it will give us an advantage. Can I hit him with a pass for once? No! No, fuck that. Every time I try to pass it, it misses. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Barkley's down. Shit. Oh, cool. He gets to keep his status buffs in between... Like, so normally when a character goes down, they lose all their status buffs, and that sucks. That always makes me really frustrated and mad. Oh, no effect? Alright, I guess his stats are as high as they'll go. That ghost muscle, I guess. Fuck! I have not hit a single fucking pass. Not one. Give him some of that fucking ecto cooler. Christ. Whoops, wrong character. I thought I was playing as Cyberdwarf. No mercy, Creelman. Shit. I also thought that was Cyberdwarf. Can I hit with a single pass? No. It's impossible. You can't hit Creelman with a pass, dude. It just doesn't work. Cyberdwarf, save us. 6,000 experience points. We're all level 8 now. Are we underleveled? Is there, is there, are we supposed to be higher leveled? I don't know. I knew you were worthy, Charles. I knew you were the one to wield the hell b-ball. Got one prototype b-balls. Sorry, Creelman, I didn't want this to happen. Sorry? You can never be sorry, Barkley. Never. Take the prototype and recharge it. Only then can you finally defeat Blood Moses. Recharge it? Yes, the Jamasite. It needs the Jamasite. He's gone. He's passed on, Barkley. 
We was waiting for this for a long time, I think. So what do we do now? We got the prototype. We're gonna need to recharge it, like Creelman said. That'll probably mean we'll have to go to Kuku. <coughs> ah! Oops! <laughs> you fools, you fell for my booby trap. Damn it, this is all just a goddamn booby trap. Jordan, you motherfucking baka! You sick goddamn motherfucking baka! What the hell did you do to my son? Don't worry, Barkley, he's not dead yet. I just shot a dart filled with type 2 diabetes into him, the kind they were never able to cure. He'll be stone cold dead if you don't find a way to cure him in the next hour. Oh, but I guess that would require you to have a PhD in diabetes and not B ball! <laughs> Jordan, you sick son of a bitch. Why the fuck would you do this to a little boy? What the hell has he ever done to you? You goddamn baka! Come on and face me! You really think you have the time for that right now, Barkley? If I were you, I'd be saying my last farewells to Hoops. Jordan, you. Ha! <laughs> See you later. But not all of you. Damn it, Hoops. Can you hear me? Hoops! Nothing. It's type 2 diabetes, Barkley. Not even I can heal it. Damn it! Damn it all the hell! Hoops, hang in there! Juana, there has to be something I can do. I can't let Hoops. I can only think of one thing, Charles. Tell me, Juana. Tell me I'll do anything. I don't want to get your hopes up because it's a long shot. A real long shot. Anything, Juana. Anything. Okay, south of town there's an old man who lives by himself. I don't know much about him, but I know he knows more about diabetes than any other person on the planet. I don't know if he'll help you or not, Charles. He's a real recluse and doesn't like strangers, especially ones who want something from him. Juana, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'll save hoops, even if it means I have to sacrifice myself. Charles. I have to go now, but thank you. Good luck, Charles. Well, fuck. Can I use the... Uh, no, I can't. I can't use the experimental b-ball until it's been recharged. Sunbaked parking lot. You wouldn't be coming this way if you weren't headed to Liberty Island. Don't have time to chat. Look, I'm just telling you beforehand that there are some messed up people there. It's this diabetes cult or something. They live at the base of the statue and worship the guy who lives inside, or at least that's what I've heard. They're all batty, that's for sure. Thanks for the tip, I'll remember that. I'm sure they'll remind you a few times too, buddy. Thanks, Taylor. You're a good guy, Taylor. Oh, Jesus, we're just going. We're at a crossroads, Charles. We need to see this diabetes expert on Liberty Island. But there are two ways to get there, by ferry or by underground railroad. Which way is faster? We don't have much time, Cyberdwarf. I honestly don't know, but I would prefer the Underground Railroad. It simply speaks to my dwarven sensibility for caves. The only preference that I have, Charles, is that we make haste in our decision. Our method of transportation is up to you. If we're going to take the ferry, we should leave this parking lot from the right. The Underground Railroad is in a building at the top of the lot. I'll try to make my decision soon. Uh, uh, oh, what's this? The Underground Railroad. Oh, okay, that's mar they're clearly marked. You guys interested in anything? Tron. Dwarf steer. A mystic bee ball. Goggles, athletic supporters. Proving guard, obviously. Yeah, I should probably increase Balthios' guard. His power is much less useful. Tech skeleton. Nice. Yeah, I'm really glad. You on your way to Liberty Island? Yeah, that's where we're headed. We don't have much time to get there. You guys pilgrims? Pilgrims? Didn't, you th didn't think so. You guys don't look like those people. Cultists or whatever. I don't know. They come here every once in a while and I can make business, but you can tell just by looking at them that something's wrong with them. Like, they just don't have enough insulin or something. It's creepy. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, you take care. You know, I've always taken the train. I'm gonna try, try taking the ferry this time. Next time on Let's Play Charles Barkley Shut Up and Jam Guy, and we take the ferry to Liberty Island. If you liked what you saw, like if you want to continue the adventure, please hit subscribe. And if you think that what I do is really keen, you can send me a couple bucks monthly on Patreon. And I can use that money to make new videos, start streaming, do incredible things like pay my rent. But until then, hope you all have a wonderful evening, and uh, had fun. Good night, everybody.